What is going on guys, Joe here back with some more top 10 iOS 7 compatible Cydia tweaks. Now we're going to start off with a tweak called BioProtect. Now if you are a, an iPhone 5S user, you'll be able to take advantage of this. So basically what this does is it lets you lock down any application you see here and you can either put in your fingerprint or enter a passcode which is pretty legit. So if I simply put in my fingerprint here, it scans it and then unlocks that certain application. So this is great if you want security on certain applications. Maybe you have friends that are nosy and look through your phone and stuff. So we go ahead and take a look in the settings here. We have different settings for BioProtect. We first, of course, we have to enable that for it to work. And we also have vibrate on air. So if you want that to be enabled, it'll vibrate when there's an error. And right below that, we have remember unlock session. So what that basically means, I have that turned on right now. If you have that turned on, then that means since you already unlocked a certain application and you haven't locked your device yet, it'll still stay unlocked. So now if I actually lock my device and then go ahead and unlock it once again and try to go back to TweetBot, then I have to again put in my passcode or my fingerprint. So I think that's pretty cool. Let's go back into the settings here. We have passcode options. So with passcode options, you can actually change the passcode so if you want to enable the passcode instead of just being your fingerprint, then you can do that. You can enter a passcode here. So as you saw earlier, I actually had uh, TweetBot locked with my fingerprint and it also said passcode. So if I go back in there, go to enter passcode, now we'll enter my passcode. If for some reason the touch ID fails, then you can just type in your passcode just like that. So I think that is pretty cool. And we have some more settings here. We can actually change the color of the circle. You can make it silver, you can make it the space gray, black one, and then the gold one. So whichever one you want to pop up, you can do that. So if I simply hit on that and then I go into TweetBot, then you see that it has a different colored uh, little touch ID uh, sensor there. So I think that is pretty cool. So now going back into the settings, we have touch ID. So this will actually direct you straight to your touch ID options. Uh, you can change the fingerprints and all that good stuff there. And below that we have the protected items. So with this, you choose your applications. You can even lock folders. You can lock settings, uh, flip switches. So flip switches like Bluetooth and all that good stuff. Uh, control center items. So if you don't want something to be enabled or disabled in your uh, little control toggles there, then you can do that, which is pretty nice. And you have the power off protection. So if for some reason, I don't know, maybe your friend or someone tries to turn off your device, then you can actually lock that and also SIM unlock protection, app switch protection, and Siri access protection. So if you don't want to access Siri, if you don't want someone to access Siri uh, without your fingerprint, you can do that. And icon arrangement protection. So if you don't want someone to, again, mess with your icons and everything, then you can do that. And you also have the photo library force protection. And then we got extras here, unlock using Touch ID. So of course, that'll allow you to unlock your device using Touch ID, even if you don't have a passcode set. So if you turn off your passcode on your actual settings, then you can just enable unlock using Touch ID, and then it'll allow you to either unlock it by swiping to unlock, or you can do Touch ID. Now right below that, we have protect apps in folder. So if you have that enabled, then all your apps that you have in the folder, those will be protected with your Touch ID. So I think this is a pretty cool tweak. You can actually find this in the Big Boss repo for $2.99 and I think it's well worth it. This is probably one of the best ones that I've tried out for the iPhone 5S. So go ahead and check it out in the Big Boss repo for $2.99. Now the next tweak we're going to talk about is called Share Widget for iOS 7. Now in iOS 6, you're able to simply pull down your notification center and tweet out something or put something on your Facebook. But with iOS 7, they actually removed that. But with Share Widget for iOS 7, which you can find for free in the Big Boss repo, you can actually add that right back. So I can have Twitter here and I have Facebook, so I can tweet out something here straight from my notification center, which is pretty awesome. But if we go into our settings, we can go to our Share Widget settings here, and you'll be able to enable Twitter, Facebook, Cena Weibo, uh, and Tencent Weibo, which is like, um, I guess like, I don't know. I don't know those social networks. Uh, but yeah, you can enable those and also you have compact layout. So with compact layout, uh, if you have all four of them enabled, then it'll uh, compact them and all that good stuff. Now in show lock screen, of course, it'll show in your lock screen if you have that enabled. So if I lock my device, 
And if I access notification center, it'll pop up on there. So that is called share widget for iOS seven. Go ahead and check it out. You can find it in the big boss repo for free. Now the next tweak we're going to talk about is called Blord, and you can find this for free in the big boss repo. Now what this does, it changes your keyboard to a black keyboard. So if you're not a fan of the white keyboard or whatnot, then you can go ahead and change it to the black keyboard, which I'm a big fan of. I'll, it matches actually my device. So I really like this tweak. It's free and it's something very, very simple. And again, it's called Blord. You can pick it up for free in the Big Boss repo. Just changes your keyboard to a black keyboard. Next up, we have App Tray. Now with App Tray, what this simply does is it gives you another tab that will allow you to add your favorite applications to your notification center. So you see there I have App Tray, which is gonna be the fourth tab. And I have all these different applications that I would like to access quickly uh, from your notification center. Now when you do download that, you can actually change some settings. So if you go here to settings, you go to app tray, and first you'll have the kill switch. So you can enable that, or you need to enable that if you want to uh, access app tray. And down here you have uh, the tab label, so you'll be able to name your actual label. I have mine set as app tray, so you can change that to whatever you like. And then you also have the option to open to app tray. Now what that does, if you have that enabled, it'll by default go to App Tray when you pull down your notification center. So as you see there, it went straight to App Tray and I can access all my applications right then and there. Now if we go below that, we have the icon opacity. You can change the opacity here, which I mean, I really don't see why you would, but it just changes the opacity level of your icons. So I'm just gonna go back there and below that you have the applications that you wanna set. So whichever applications you'd like to put on your App Tray, can do so right here so again this is called app tray you can actually pick it up for 149 in the big boss repo and i think it's pretty cool um, if you want some quick access to your applications right from your notification center next up we have classic switcher which is a classic ios multitask switcher so remember back in the day back in ios 6 and previous ios's double click the home button and now you have this classic iOS switcher. So if you're tired of the card switcher, you can just download this and you'll be able to simply, just like back in the day, hold down the, an icon and then just close these out just like that. But something else that has been added to this is the fact that you can simply swipe to the right, you get that little X right there, and now you are able to quit all the applications with one single tap by hitting yes and all of them are gone. So just by simply swiping to the right, you can do that, which is pretty cool. Now, if we go to the settings in Classic Switcher, uh, we do have a few settings here. We have the kill switch settings, so you can enable that on and off. And right below that, we have rows. So with rows, it allows you to either choose one, two, or three. So if we choose two here, then we can just simply activate Classic Switcher, and then you see that we have two rows. So now if we enable three, of course, we have three rows now. So if you want to choose one, two, or three, whichever you prefer, I just leave it at one. Uh, yeah, you can do so there. Now, right below that, it does say you can enable only as many as needed. And then below we have quit all apps. So you can quit all the apps. You can choose to uh, enable or disable that. So if you see here, I disabled it real quick. And if I swipe to the right, it doesn't give me that X anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable that once again. Now with always editing, what this does, is every time you activate the multitask switcher, you see that the little red uh, icons are there so you can close them out without you having to hold and then wait till the X shows up right there. So you can do that. Now if you have that enabled as well, what you can do is simply press and hold down and then it'll ask you if you wanna quit all applications without you swiping to the right. So you can do that as well if you enable always editing and right below that it gives you the option if you want it to ask you before quitting all the apps so um, that little screen that we just got right now you can disable that right there and then below that we have an overlay style so with overlay style what i have it set to is blur so if i set it to white overlay it'll give me a white overlay here if i set it to black it'll give me a black overlay and then no overlay it'll just simply slide up the uh, task switcher there so I like having it blur. I think it looks better. And right below that we have opening animations. So you can do slide up or you can do slide up bar only. So uh, if we do that, you see that that just simply slides up and it kind of gives it like an overlay of whatever uh, screen you're on. But if we go back to slide up, it slides up the whole screen that we we're just on. So I kind of like, uh, I mean, both of them are pretty cool. 
I just leave slide up right there. Now you can find this for 99 cents. So go ahead and check this out again. It's called Classic Switcher. Next up, we're gonna talk about Repower. So what this does is if we simply hold down the power button, we now have different sliders for different things. Of course, we have the slide to power off. Right below that, we have slide to reboot. And right below that, we have slide to respring. Now this is actually free. It's something I use often um, because I sometimes just want to respring it or for some reason if my phone's causing me issues, I just reboot it and things like that. And if you don't do anything, it actually disappears just like it did right now. So again, you can find this for free in the Big Boss repo and it's called Repower. Now the next week is called Spectral. Now, right now I'm gonna go ahead and play some music on Spotify because Spotify is my favorite application to play music from. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna check out Spotify if you haven't tried it out. You can get a free trial today and try it out. But anyways, uh, what this does is on your lock screen, it actually gives you like a blurred album effect I see here. It doesn't give you just a black uh, little screen on the background. It actually gives you the album artwork, but it's blurred out, which is pretty cool. I kind of like that. And if I change the track, you see that kind of changes the background there. So that is called Spectral and it is free. You can find it in the Big Boss repo. So if you want to give your lock screen a new look while you're playing music, go ahead and download Spectral. Next up, we have iMusic Share CC. Now what this does, right now I do have some music playing once again. And if I swipe up for my control center, you now see that I have a Facebook icon there and a Twitter icon there. So what this does, it allows you to share the certain song you're playing at the moment. You see there, it automatically uh, generates a certain, a certain hashtag and the artist and the name and all that good stuff there. But you can also do it for Facebook and then you'll be able to post a status of whatever you're listening to at that current moment. Now, if you do go to settings, you do have some settings to change. So here's the iMusic Share CC. So you can enable for it to show the Facebook button or the Twitter button, and I have both enabled. And down here you can kind of customize the certain tweet or message you wanna send out. So you can mess with that, and right below that it gives you like the little code of what these each mean. So you can kind of rearrange it to your liking. And below that we have always post custom status. You can enable or disable that. And right below that, we also have simple sharing text format. So you can mess with that as well. And going down a little lower, we have the change button position. So what that actually does, it changes the button position, of course. So if I enable it to 100%, uh, you see that the buttons are down here now. So depending how you want to have it, you can set it like that. So wherever you wanna place those at, you can mess with the button positions right down there. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it close to zero here. If I can, there it goes. And it's right there, right next to the backtrack or forward track buttons right there. So this tweak here is actually 149 and you can find it in the Big Boss repo. Now next up we have CC High. Now what this does is, I don't have any music playing right now. And so you see I pull up Control Center and it doesn't give me any type of uh, music controls here. So I think that is pretty cool. It kind of compresses whatever you don't want to be shown in the control center. So if I go into my settings and go to CC hide, you can actually disable and enable uh, different sections here. You got setting section, the brightness section, uh, media control section, airdrop slash airplay section, and quick launch section. So you can enable or disable those. And right below that, I actually have the conditional uh, media controls enabled. So what that does is if no media is being played, then it'll automatically hide those when there's nothing playing. Now I did find something that was wrong with this is that it does not support Spotify. So if I go ahead and go into Spotify real quick, start playing a song here, and it still doesn't show any controls there. So I was kind of upset about that, uh, but it actually is free. So you can go ahead and check this out in the Big Boss repo. It's called CC Hide and it just simply hides everything that you really don't even need at that moment. So go ahead and check it out in the Big Boss repo for free again. Now for the last week we have CC controls. Now what this does is if you're tired of having these icons, these toggles up here, you wanna change them up, or if you just wanna scroll over and actually activate some other stuff, here you can do that with CC controls. So basically this allows you to arrange and replace different toggles up here. 
and you can do that all by going into the settings. So when we go into settings and go to CC controls, you also have a theme. So you can change the themes, you can change them from the iOS 7 theme here. So if I go to the green and red, just pull up control center and you see that the activated ones are green and the deactivated ones are red. And you can also go to blue here. Actually, let's try the filled circles ones. Um, let's do that one. And you see there, looks pretty cool. I really like that you can theme it up. There's a couple themes here you can check out. And if we go back, we have the lock screen restrictions. And this, if you have it enabled, then it'll restrict you from choosing any of these icons or any of these toggles that you choose. So I can disable that, disable settings, and all that good stuff. But um, let me go back here and we go to controls per page. So with this, um, we got the rows per page. That's actually coming soon. And then we also have controls per row. So you can do unpage. What that does is when you select that, it'll just let you scroll through all these different toggles here without kind of dividing them into pages. Now, if I have it at disabled, you can choose one and that will only show one toggle and two for two toggles and things like that. I mean, you, you kind of get the, the picture here. So I'm going to set it back to five. That's a default one. But now if we go down here, you can actually change which enable toggles you want to do. Just drag and arrange them however you like. You see here, and I have these disabled. So there's so many different toggles you can choose from. You can choose things like respring your device, rebooting, shutting down your device, taking a screenshot, uh, going to safe mode, flashlight, vibration, LTE, auto lock, sleep buttons, um, home button, Siri, multitasking. There's all these things you can do. And this is just how I have mine here, which is pretty cool. So you can actually find CC controls for free in the Mod My I repo. So I definitely recommend you to check that out. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this top 10 city tweaks for iOS 7. Now, do stay tuned for more videos, uh, top tweaks and all that good stuff. Let me know what your favorite tweak is in the comment section below. And also, if you did kind of see, I have a different theme going on here. Uh, if you'd like me to review this, uh, go ahead and leave a like down below. Go ahead and like the video and leave a comment down below telling me that you want me to review this. And if you want me to review different themes, let me know as well. So anyways, guys, as always, hit that like button if you did like this video. It not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. And if you're not yet following me on any of my social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or Instagram, all the links will be down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss any of my videos in the future. But I will catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.